that quite a few years ago, we had three full-time, three alternates, and I made the decision to let everyone participate in the discussion and the voting. Right. So we picked three members at the beginning of the case. And that's how the quorum was established? Yeah. Well, then you got three voting members. Even if an alternate votes, you know, what it's, up, it's set up three full-time members. If you don't utilize the whole team, you're going to get people not showing up. Right, right. The alternate's not going to show up. if just the alternate at the right, full-time member. Right, they're voting. So you have to so split I it up. So I had everyone. Case in point was you this evening, we had a member who was not here and you had to appoint another member to a case that was heard and a member who the other associate members or non-voting members are here, they've heard the evidence, that way it gives them the opportunity to vote if a exactly. member is not present. Exactly. Exactly. That's how we do it here now, you can't appoint someone that didn't hear the, right. the first right. meeting. We'd have to continue it to the next case so that person could be present if yeah. there wasn't. I happen to have attended more zoning board meetings, maybe not as you, because you've been sitting on this board for a long time, but I've seen other zoning boards what? Um, in different venues, and the, what Joe has set up works perfectly. I've seen problems in other communities hmm. where sp specifically what happened tonight, where a member who was a voting member was not here, and another member wasn't present, and they couldn't they yeah. couldn't act on it. Yeah, so I have I happen to think that this works very well, mm -hmm. um, and the way that Greg rotates the voting members gives everybody an opportunity to be involved. Um, but it also I've never seen less than five people here at any meeting right. ever. Neither have I. So actually, Zach is supposed to be the one who is, 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 who is actually the uh, clerk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Greg did it tonight yeah. to fill in for him. Right. But yeah. I, I've I've always seen. Rotation. Right. This would be just a question of the chair, um, if I may. Um, when the administrative assistant um, does our agenda for the evening, would it be at all possible to list the members who were present at the prior meeting so that way the members at the board will know and not have to constantly it's refer to the, the administrative assistant in regards to who was here this month, last month? Great, great point. Great in, that, in, in adding to that, Nicole, you do keep a record as to who shows up and who doesn't. Correct. It's, it's reflected in the menu. Yeah, okay. um, uh, one other uh, comment on that, um, Mr. Chairman and the board. Um, would you like me to also list off the voting members for the various cases that come back, as well as the last meeting? Well, there would be a great reference yeah. also. Is that okay? No, just giving you more work to do. If it, if I got it. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, if someone's coming back to the board. That I think that's that's crucial information but, that we should. Come but here with. again, we're supposed to be deciding on whether we want to add another member. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're no. going to be doing? Well, we're talking we're about it. we're talking about the process. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we are, and I like the process. Policy yeah. change. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no just going back. I think we're all okay. I think we're all okay with not having a seventh member. Well, that. no, that's what we want to discuss. There. Okay. I, I myself am not in favor of another member. I think we were adequate. And uh, it, it, it being cost effective, and it's all like we used to volunteer for this. Now it all it all changes. It's just going to be used better else. So I'm not sure, but I'm yeah, my my vote would be no as well. Yeah. If we if we did vote, but we're not going to. Anybody else? I would vote no also. I, I vote no. I think it's worked quite well from the years yeah. that I just observed from as an outsider watching meetings and things. Jonathan. Um, I'm a new member, but I would say that I think that we're fine because then again, we also potentially affect the number for a quorum. And then that, on that basis, mm -hmm. if you add another member and you have a quorum of four, we could have a tie. Right. And so, then you'd have to appoint five members to be, and then you'd exactly. have a problem so, getting the same five so on, each on, that, on that basis, right. I would say no. Well, then you'll notice, too, that on a case, it has to be unanimous vote to approve. Yeah, uh, on the zone, yeah. it has to be yeah, so unanimous. So it's not two to one or three to one. It has to be unanimous. It's going to be unanimous. What I, what I would suggest, and I don't know if this is possible, is that on any given evening uh, that we meet, that the three voting members for the evening... There will be each case is sometimes different. It comes yeah, out the same. Yeah, right. Right. But each case gets assigned three members. Yeah, right. And you, we haven't... Included you? No, that's why well, I'm new. I'm not. Well, yeah, it, that kind of. It, <laughs> you, but you're very. I'm not you know, worried. Uh, I speak not, up if you haven't noticed. <laughs> uh, 
I'm not sure all of the things I noticed in this world, but uh, sometimes <laughs> it's just it's overwhelming. Uh, for me. Uh, <laughs> I, and I can be overwhelming. You know, I love your honesty. It's so great. It's I love just, it. No, I know what you're saying. I know what you mean. Well, I want you to get your feet wet and kind of listen and see what things are going on and yep. stuff. And as time goes, I'm sure you're going to, I can tell by the you, yep. you're going to do your research and you'll be fine. But, you know, we'll just kind of ease you into something. And then we're going to just slam you and just run you out. Run you out. It, it took Jason, it took Jason a little while. So yeah, no, it took, it took me a solid year. 58 more days, it'll be two months. <laughs> you have it. I'm good with that. Okay. All right, so that's pretty much done, a done deal. Now, eight, authorization of payment signatures. Okay, that must be something out of my field. But before we get to that uh, authorization of payment signatures, you guys all have to go down and take this uh, ethics thing. And, uh, yeah, she gave that to us to, yeah. uh, she gave me, all right, at least well, me anyway. Yeah, I, I, well yeah. okay. good, I gotta uh, do my, do it's up to you. Make sure you Now this authorization, authorization form for payment signatures. You want to help me out with this one? Could I just interact for just for a second? I, I, I know this with the um, with the Fox Rec Commission and also with the um, Community Preservation Commission. And uh, what the administrative assistant is asking is that, that um, this has to be done um, be at the beginning of the fiscal year, so that mm -hmm. way it's normal to pay the bills. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is, as a board, we can decide we can have one signee or we can put conditions and have two signees for all bills to be paid. That's up to the board's decision. We've been doing the past. It's been the chairman and vice chairman. Correct. Okay. So if, if, so in other words, right now, I will make a motion that the, vi uh, the chairman and the vice chairman be the lead uh, designated persons for um, All right, before you make that a motion, uh, right. I'd like to discuss it with sure. Greg. Greg, uh, from time to time, you're going to have to come in and take over. Uh, there may be, I'm on vacation or something. The big buck comes by, something, you know, <laughs> to that effect. Are you okay with that, or would yes, you rather I'm have fine. it assigned to someone else? I'm fine with that. Okay. I just wanted Greg to have it. Same. But here's the thing, though, if you if you have it listed as two designees, both designees must sign at all times. Yeah, then, I, but you, you know, I you, wanted to make that clarify. Yeah, you have to have a backup I, person, I just in no. case. That's not going to work with this board. No, no one signature is all we. Right. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm kind of I'm looking, on, yeah. looking, and I want the board. Now that we're having this discussion, I will, would like someone. Uh, I just spoke past you. Oh, sorry. It ain't much to worry about. I just don't need a computer. That's all. Got a good time. She told me she was going to send that my best before the meeting ended. Yeah, now, <laughs> getting back to this payment signature thing, I'm a little. Uh, I'm thinking that, Joe. How do you feel about it? You had it for years, okay? Going over and signing the payroll and stuff. Shouldn't that be assigned to our new town administrator, seeing as how they're administrating things? Because I am not here to see. Well, you should be. You got to spend more time. That's not going to happen, Joe. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I'm doing more than I want to do now. And every day I come back to you shouldn't be the chairman. Well, that, that that can be arranged too, Joe, because it is a little different. It's mo things are moving differently today. Getting back to this uh, authorization for form payments now isn't the time to be discussing that, I guess. So what are we asking uh, for authorization? Well, I see Joe Bob is I'm not around all the time. To Neither am so I. I'm usually here on Mondays. If it's going to have to be two, uh, you guys don't, I'd rather not be the guy. There's just two, there's two signatures. There has been already. I'm, I was. Yeah, one, not two simultaneously. No, right. one signature. One, right. And, it yeah. and, and an alternate if you're not available. Right, you that's how I wanted to say. Well. So just one, yeah, so yeah. you do it. That's and different. One yeah. signature yeah. and then Greg will be the person who'll step in. If Greg can't do it, then we'll go down to the actual members first and move through. That's how you do, do that, right? The only thing is a third person can't sign unless this board approves it previously. Correct. So if that's something you want to do, then no, you do this. That's, what do. that's why you so have to we, you. So could, here's the question. Are we talking that each time there needs to be a signature, we only need we only require one, is that yes. right? Correct. Yes. So then I would make a motion that either the chairperson or the vice chairperson be assigned check check writing check signature responsibility. That's what they have now. It's designated, period. Yeah. So that's the way are. it is now. So what, well, yeah, so what's why are we 
but if we need to do why? it each year and reapprove it, that's why I'm just making oh, that. Oh, we're just renewing it. Exactly. Okay. okay. That's what I'm getting. You have to file that with the accountant. I, I think that's what's missing, right? Are we missing the actual paperwork that verifies that? Okay. The document, it's okay. in the, everyone's folder. Okay. Who come so up with this? Does anybody this else? Is, this, is, this is the accountant. Do you want me to sign it now? You don't have to sign anything now. So I'll repeat, I'll repeat the motion, which is that the motion All is... Right, we didn't, I don't think we need a motion, do we? We're not looking for a motion on this. I, only if someone disagrees with the chair and the vice chair, I think. It's um, just it's going to stay the way it is. So it's one signature. The chair. Now it's, now it's chairman and the vice chair. Or one of those two. So, so current, so let me back up. When Ken was chair, he had Bob sign on as a vice chair mm -hmm. to sign in case he was Perfect. missing. Okay. Now Bob is chair, and I believe we need to fill it out so that Greg can sign. Okay, so we do have to make a motion to Correct. change that. Okay. Correct. Perfect. Okay. That makes sense. Do we all go to sign this, or are you doing this? No. Um, you would need to... No. I wouldn't have to sign my signature somewhere. So do you want me to yes. repeat my motion? I didn't know you had that. Please meeting. repeat your motion. Yes. All right, I'm going to repeat the motion. The motion will be um, that Bob, as the chairperson, have signature authority for the ZBA and that Greg have signature authority for the ZBA in the event Bob is unable or unavailable for check signing. Perfect. Period. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> I'll second that motion. Any further discussion? Discussion? Now hearing none, all in oh. favor? <laughs> <laughs> He's thinking. <laughs> you can see the wheels turning. They're, they're turning up in there. Anyway. They're so turning right now. It's great. I love it. All in favor? <laughs> Wait, do you want me to rescind this? No, no, no. I do not. I, we're going to be here for another hour. Uh, I second. Uh, what, I, I'm I, just yeah. sitting here thinking of all the incidents that the check signing has brought on in this town with procurement officers, and I just got procurement certification, and so did you. Uh, with just a motion. All right, moving on. <laughs> Okay. Everyone was in favor, correct? Yeah. Yes. Everyone was yes. in favor. Yeah. Number eight. Number nine. <laughs> Approve the minutes. October. Here we are. We're coming down on the wire, folks. <laughs> Mr. October. Chairman, I make a motion to approve the minutes from okay. the October 17th meeting, 2018. Was there any discussion from anybody? I wasn't there, but I did read them. Okay. No. Second. Any? Motion's been seconded. Is everybody okay on board with it? Yes. All in favor, say aye. 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 Input authorization expenditures and so we have it written in payroll. We missed, missed public input. Maybe Mr. Pacheco. I haven't got the public input okay. yet. There isn't any public here. It's all on TV tonight. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, now we have author. Uh, we got to approve the uh, payroll. Okay. Do have Christmas bonuses in this one, right? No bonuses. Oh, come on. No. It, I actually, all this is uh, <laughs> payroll. Those are cool. Is three thousand five hundred and three dollars and fifty-eight cents. That's the total payroll. That's for all the board members and the office. And the bills paid is one hundred and twenty one thousand seven hundred and fifty-six dollars. Do we have to? We don't have to do anything itemizing of this, do we? No. Um, if the board has any questions about itemized items, I have a folder with all okay. of the bills. Right. If ever, if ever there were questions. Okay. Uh, Mr. Make Chairman, to make, an off, uh, make a motion that we authorize expenditures on the payroll and bills paid for the month. Second that motion. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Now, where was the public input? That was right, right above. above it. Right above it. Under number seven. Roman number oh, seven. public input. Okay. I thought this was just all of the same thing. Because she didn't have two different numbers. This is two different things. That's yeah. what I yeah. don't understand that. So we can do it now. Okay, you want to put an 11 on there? I'll do it. <laughs> 11. All right. Clerical error. Was there any public input? Yeah, I have some public input. Okay. I'm going to address this to you privately. Okay. But seeing that it's the whole board. You approve someone to sign the bills, but you should also make probably make an, uh, a motion to have someone else come into the office to review paperwork more than once a once a week. Well, who who would you be spend more time? Who would who would be doing that? Huh? Who would well, be the doing? The chairman it? usually does it, but 
if the chairman is not willing to do it or doesn't well, Joe, have what is what would I be reviewing? Huh? What am I reviewing? Applications are different different questions that the office manager has. Right. Well, I, I do address any of the questions that she asks me now, but as far as any like applications, they come before us with the recommendation from the building inspector. They've already been denied a building permit, so they pretty much know what they're doing. Anything that's brought in or any exchanges from the board, it goes against the open meeting law. So I can't really discuss it with any anybody. I can't inform anyone of anything. No, there's paperwork that will come across your desk that probably should be signed. Oh, I've seen a lot of it. We've had a little bit of discussion on some of it. With They're asking me to sign stuff I haven't even looked at. But I got to sign off on it. Well, look at it. I did, but it's not applicable to the board, zoning board of appeals, Joe. It is not, it, it, there was no no variance and no special yes, there permit. There is a, a paper that comes around if someone's applying for a building permit, and uh, you have to sign every board, all the boards have to sign off. Yeah, on he's it. got it right there. Yeah, it, all the board. I don't have a problem with signing it, uh, signing off on it, but I don't want to be. I, Adding to think, this did not apply to the Zoning Board of Appeals. Zoning Board of Appeals approval not required. Yeah, you can't wait for four or five days to do it. Somebody, I haven't been waiting somebody four or five days. Somebody wants to commit. But Joe, doesn't uh, Nicole, when you send off an email that there's something to be signed on your desk? I mean, yeah. I get that too. I, that, no one's been waiting that I know of. Yeah. So far. I mean, if it gets real busy here, we've been kind of lucky in that respect. Well, in, and like you said about the uh, spending time there, uh, I'm spending as much time as I want to spend. And I don't know if it requires more than maybe they should have someone else. It's as simple as that. I can't do any more than I want to do. Not for $90 a month, Joe. It just isn't worth it. It isn't the money. No, I spent an hour and a half today reading emails trying to figure out what was going on with something because of the confusion that was created on it. And that was an hour and a half. I could have been doing something else. We got it straightened out, but it's, you know, I'm here on a Monday. I don't know what uh, what more they can expect. Now, like you, you had a, this was, the town of Dighton down here was your life. You were interested in spend your evenings and stuff there, but I'm not, I, I can't spend that kind of time. It's that simple. Maybe you guys might want to start considering maybe somebody else has got more time. If that can be, you know, something you guys can negotiate. But it, that, it, it, as far as I'm going. All right, anything else? Motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Nicole, do you need me to sign this? Yes, I'll, I'll be with you when you sign it. Okay. All right. That's fine. This is vicious. Can't have too many of those. I thought the meeting would go longer tonight. <laughs> and next month it's what, the 19th, is that right? Oh yeah, that's a good call. Is it, is it, is it, is it the 19th? Yeah. Next month?